lesson of life from Naaman. <clears throat> Don't expect God to do things your way. And if he doesn't do things your way, don't get angry with him. Naaman expected the prophet to come and wave his hand and touch him and say a prayer or utter some healing. Nothing of that sort. <clears throat> Many times God takes us through paths which we don't like, which we don't anticipate and expect, <clears throat> which we don't want. But when we yield to his methodology, because he's the giver, you know, if I can use this proverb, beggars are not choosers. <clears throat> well, if you want <clears throat> blessing from him, the choice, the methodology is not your choice. Methodology, his choice. And he uses his methodology and he will bless you and heal you. Heal yourself, Lord. Do whatever you want to. <clears throat> if you want to, you can spit on my face, on my eyes, into my mouth. If I need sight and if my mouth needs to be, my tongue needs to be loose. <clears throat> God does things this way. Let's yield and let's receive his blessing. Naaman, though he got angry, upset and wild still, thank God for his servants who kind of pacified him and let him yield to the methodology of God and thereby he received the blessing. Let us too. God bless you.